Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic. And Taylor the Fiend. Back again with another video. Now, you know, I asked Taylor here, because we're trying to add a little bit different type of spices to each of the Warband content creators. So I was like, hey man, just send me some links. So, you know, what do you want me to respond to, basically? And he sent me this one from a, honestly, this subreddit, Female Dating Strategy, is like a, have you ever, have you ever seen the movie Toxic Avenger? Um, I'm not sure if you have. Basically, this janitor, I think it's a janitor, this some dude, falls into a vat of toxic nuclear waste and comes out a disgusting mutant, right? Um, oh, the strategy, dating strategy is the toxic waste yeah, in that story. What do you this say, This is Taylor? where you go if you want to, like, this is where you send your daughter if you just, you know, you want her to have the worst possible life, right? This is where you'd send her. I mean... It, it, it's it's funny because they agree on so many things red pill dudes agree on it's just like their assessment towards the end is we're still a big demise because you know that's pretty much any female politics at the end of the day no matter you know right-wing female politics is um we're victimized and we should uh, have men serve us in a conservative manner and left-wing female politics is we're victimized because patriarchy no matter what it is <laughs> ma literally, there's not a single political party or position that doesn't you know acknowledge women being victimized and that they need to be listened to well i guess like maybe if there's like a political system uh that doesn't account for you know they don't have political power then then you know obviously but in democracies with the, the universal suffrage we get here's the thing we're about to read this article the person who wrote this article has the same amount of political power in a western democracy as under chronic and taylor the fane okay so before we get into this disgusting piece of battery <laughs> consider donating to paypal.me slash the under chronic okay taylor I'll, I'll start us off here why do men complain about marriage when marriage for women is dot 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 what is just first of all a stupid title that's how is this even catching anybody's attention it's not even why do men complain about marriage when marriage for women is and then it's, the thing is the first sentence doesn't even answer the title so when does she answer the title Probably later on this stupid post, but let's get into it. She says, marriage is paying a rather large sum of money to become an unpaid, severely unappreciated maid. <laughs> okay, okay. She says, first of all, she's paying a rather large sum of money. Who is the, who, who is the typical gender that demands an extravagant wedding? Taylor, let me ask a question, bro. Um, I know you're an Aussie. Oh. I know you're an Aussie. Um, I know this is pretty wild. Um, does it, is it usually a man that wants to blow stacks of cash on a wedding, or is it a woman? What do you think? I, the woman requires it of the man, I would say, generally speaking, right? I, I read an article in here earlier today, and it was like a woman was mad that her wedding ring wasn't worth enough, so she said no. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that is such a blessing in disguise, though. Honestly, it's a blessing in disguise. You see, oh, if, you're bullet, if, you're, yeah. if you're even slightly red pilled, when females act a fool like this, like in this story, and like, you know, if she says no because the wedding ring wasn't expensive, it's a blessing. It's an absolute blessing. But she says, in a marriage, literally all a man has to do is work. Yeah, they have to work, provide for the household, um, take out the trash, do manual labor at home, act as a protector. You know, discipline the kids. She, she makes it sound like it's nothing, right? Like as if you're like yeah. going to the pool or the beach or something. Work is work, you know. I mean, like it, yeah. you know, work. Work could literally be um, breaking your body to make ends meet. Imagine being a coal miner in the 1700s, right? Oh, it's just work. I had to. <laughs> I have to stay at home work. and raise the kids. Men, men just had to work and go under the coal mine. You know, coughing up your lungs. Can't see. You, have, you know, you see like the sun 10 percent of the time. Of your day, you see the sun, maybe, but no, that's just work. It's easy. It's easy. Oh, they make it sound as though it's just like men going to work and laughing with their friends, and they don't actually do anything productive, right? I was watching a video earlier today. This is one I'm going to be putting up on my channel. It was about um, oh, it's about the gender pay gap, right? And oh, they came to yeah, <laughs> you already know this is going. They cancer. didn't count the hours worked. They didn't count the hours worked, and then they went on to say how the hours worked. One of the ladies was like, oh, yeah, the hours works worked doesn't even matter because, you know, they could be working. Men can be working, you know, 12 hours, and it'd be only worth as much as eight hours of the females. Like, oh. it's actually insane. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, so we're, I mean, we can spend 12 minutes on something that this chick spent 80 minutes to write, and we'll rip it apart. 
So she says, we live in modern times. So this means a woman doesn't only have to work. She has to manage the husband's appointments, manage the kids' appointments, drop off and pick up kids from school, help kids with homework, help kids with their emotional development and issues. Okay, is this woman honestly saying that, you know, since modern times, uh, a woman has to be a mother? Like she's really, she's like saying, <laughs> we have to take care of kids. We have to make sure our kids are healthy. We have to make sure our kids grow up with good emotional development. It's just like, she's complaining about being a mother. This woman's obviously a feminist. What's her name? The Tower 14. Her username is the Tower 14. Yeah, she probably weighs 1,400 pounds and she looks like a goddamn tower walking around this giant feminist going from Walmart aisle to Walmart aisle. Good Lord. You could see her in the hardware section all the way from the front. You know, you walk in and you just hear, boom, boom. you know, you Jurassic Park, you know, the, you know, the glass, the water glass water just ripples from TX nearby. This is a fat chick walking by, just going from McDonald's to McDonald's, just smashing burgers around. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I can guarantee you that this chick wrote this article. I, I, she's not gonna get married. Thank the Lord, because she would. Can you imagine being a sucker? Can you imagine being the poor simp that marries this chick? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't know about you, but I counted about two hours worth of work in that uh that paragraph there. By the way, like what? Do, what even is that? As if making appointments or managing appointments is difficult. I don't. I don't understand what the oh, what the difficult oh, you, part you also, about that listen, is. She, you, you also have to plan the kids' clothes and take the kids oh. to events. And, oh my bad. Yeah, and yeah. you have to shop for groceries. You see, here's the thing. I can guarantee you, in any in any situation where the woman does all these things and she has to work a job, she makes significantly less than the man. Because you know why the man makes more money? He has to be absolutely devoted to the job. He can't. He just, if, yeah, exactly. if the man had to jump around and take care of the kids he, he wouldn't be able to make as much money or be at the same job and then the woman wouldn't be attracted to him and then there'd be financial problems and all kinds of bullshit for what for some feminist dream i mean it's funny it, when these chicks aren't in relationships they push for you know egalitarianism oh you should you should mention you have to work and i'll do have to work but as soon as they get some rich chad to you know, come in their life and be like you know i'll take care of everything just take care of the house they absolutely, you know, they drop their panties down instantly. It's hilarious. These, these yeah, duplicitous straight, straight snakes. Like, I'm a good housewife. Yeah. It's like, I'm happy doing nothing. Yeah. It's a little like a snake. You know, it's just like, you know, they, they completely change how they act depending on the setting. When snakes are single, they're spitting venom. But, you know, when they get some, like, you know, some, some idea of a wallet nearby, they, they stop spitting venom and maybe they just, they choke you, become a constrictor, and they just choke you to death slowly. Oh, that's exactly right. It depends on the dude you are. Mm -hmm. Go on. Yeah, like, like what's that? That, uh, that red pill saying? Oh my goodness! It's um, you know, it's she makes rules for uh, betas and she breaks them for alphas, right? That's just mm -hmm. the way it goes. It, it depending on what type of guy you are, you're just gonna get a different version of the same girl. Like me and you, Chronic, we could go up to a girl and get a completely different reaction to a guy who's a beta cuck, and she'll use him, but she wouldn't dare try it with us. You see what I mean? No, just, there's some there's some chicks who try to that here. You'd be surprised. They'll try it. They'll try it. It's oh, just funny. Okay, they'll try it, but they'll you know they'll realize. Yeah, I'm not gonna get. You know what I mean? Like, and whenever a chick asks me to buy her a drink, <laughs> I, I I I literally I literally just look at her and tell her water is free. I mean, bitch, you thirsty? Coming up to me like that? Water is free. Or you know, you can get you can get another type of drink for me for free, a tropical uh, protein shake straight from the source. I've been eating a lot of pineapple recently. <laughs> oh no! But let's oh. finish the second paragraph. She says, "These are just the needs I think of off the top of my head. This doesn't even include the torture women go through taking care of babies and toddlers." Okay, if this woman describes taking care of babies and toddlers as torture. She's absolutely admitting that she's not competent enough to be a mother. She doesn't have maternal instinct. That's all right. I mean, there's dudes out there that are cucks, right? They don't have a dominance instinct. A man without a dominance instinct is like a woman without a maternal instinct. I mean, like, they're not worthless to society per se, but to the traditional gender norms or people that want, gen you know, to reproduce, they're useless, right? So a woman that doesn't want to have kids, like the, whenever I see a chick say, I hate kids, I don't want kids, Kids disgust me. I never want kids. Like she instantly goes from a woman in my mind to like a little boy, little like a child, like a little boy, little like a little boy. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with them. It, it, very expensive. They can mess everything up. Um, yeah, fun to hang around a little bit, 
but besides that like not building a family with useless absolutely useless so yeah this chick seems absolutely useless to be a mother so not like i'd really you know go for her to do that anyhow but she's just blatant about it so she should just wear a shirt saying i never want kids i bet she'd never do that though because she never get dates it indicates a lot more Mm -hmm. right it indicates a lot more about their personality like messing everything up that typically they'll be bad with like 50 other things if they have that trait right so it's it's like one of a huge just a giant red flag honestly because it indicates that she's always going to be like if you want to have a relationship with her she's just going to be a pain in your ass right Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll hear a lot. This last paragraph is hilarious because honestly, I bet this chick just got she just got played by bad boy. That's why she's writing this. This whole post is event. This whole post is cope. Literally, this entire post, this entire subreddit is cope from these fat oh, yeah. chicks getting just smashed by bad boys. And by bad boys, I mean like dudes that are like somewhat fat but go to the gym three days a week. So like they don't really have man boobs. They kind of like pecs, but not really. But they're big enough and not actually fat enough to make these fat chicks think they're Chad, right? And so these these fat dudes drinking Bud Light, beer, Coors Light, are just smashing these fat chicks, breaking hearts left and right. And then they go post on female dating strategies. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. But let's hit this last paragraph. All that said, then there's a high chance of the man coming home from his shitty job just to talk down to the wife if all the shit she does isn't compared to his one job. There's also a high chance of the man cheating and destroying the family the woman gave birth to and worked so hard to manage. Or worse, he cheats while she's pregnant. Okay, I don't really know what the high chance is. Um, I'm not sure who cheats more, men or women. But when when a man cheats, that doesn't destroy the family. It could destroy the marriage. It could destroy the um you know, the emotional bond. Okay. Maybe if he's spending copious amounts of money on his, uh, his mistress, but when a woman cheats on a man and she cucks him, it doesn't destroy the family. It basically shows that the man never had the family. And so like you're starting off from square zero, single motherhood. So it's much yeah, worse exactly. when a woman cheats, but I'm not sure who I won't say, you know, men cheat more women cheat more. I just don't want to hoe cheats. It's a whole lot more damaging to a man in the long run. What do you think about that? Taylor? Yeah. Look, I'd say when a girl cheats on a guy, there's often like a very long recovery period that guys have, particularly coming out of relationships even. Even if the girl doesn't cheat, the guy's going to have a much longer recovery period. But on what you were saying about the fact that, you know, she ju- she literally just described what happened to her. That's a beautiful thing about these, you know, this subreddit in particular, because you can make guesses. And then later on in the story, they'll just tell you exactly what happened and why they're angry and why they're here on the subreddit. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. actually great. But yeah, like I would say that cheating comes down to Honestly, cheating just comes down to the amount of options someone has a lot of the time, right? A lot of men won't cheat because they can't, because they don't even have the options. They'll be in a relationship with a girl who, you know, she's his only option. So he's not going to go anywhere and because he'll lose the, the only girl that he has, right? But it, it all depends, in my opinion. I think it's all about the options at the end of the day. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, hypergamy definitely plays a role into it. Yeah, the monkey branching especially, right? If and, so, you guys, and so does absolute yeah, yeah. thought culture. I mean, I'm sure a lot of dudes wouldn't have cheated, but just since we live in a thought apocalypse, bitches shaking their asses around just to spite each other, I'm sure that happens. But before we leave this video, um, future live stream idea here, um, about the community, female dating strategy, it says, read the female dating strategy handbook to learn more oh, about no. our philosophy. So that sounds like, you know, maybe a 20, 30 page document that we can just absolutely roast and rip in half, which would be hilarious during a live stream. But anyhow, if you want to support the channel, make sure you hit up Taylor the Fiend's channel. The link is in the description. Give him a sub, boys. It's been Under Chronic, guys. And Taylor the Fiend. Take it easy. Under Chronic here. On a wall with my boys. Cold slippers, glass of liquor, I done stumbled on a green skinned killer, his name is Ribby, getting jiggy, hit that PayPal and make us get busy, I'm feeling tipsy, too much whiskey, I'm cold copping cucks all the way to Dixie, on my chronic game, Ola Puniti, time to roll another joint. Maybe two more. Fuck around and fuck up the world tour. <laughs> Sponsor these beats at paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Now back to this blazing chick who wants to sit on it.
a world where freedom itself is under attack.